Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In last video regarding QVD, we learned that how to create a single QVD. Today I will show you how to create multiple QVDs. I mean, how can we store all tables of an application into QVDs. I have an empty application here. We'll create a new tab and give it name data load. And I will try to load data from my SQL server. In a sales database, I have five tables. I don't want this load statement. I mean the field name of all the tables as a preceding load. So I will remove them because my objective here is to load data, extract data from SQL and then store inside a QVD so that I can use the same QVDs for my different applications. Insert script and now you can see I have all five tables here. I will give them name. This is a customer, then employee. Third one is my orders table. Fourth one is my product table. And last one is my supplier table. We'll reload this application and we'll see the data model. It's a star schema. We have an order table and surrounding four product, employee, supplier and customer tables which are associated with order table with the respective key fields. Now my objective here is to store all these five tables inside five different QVDs. The easiest way here is I can write store function something like that store my table name customer into where I want to store it that's a lib data folder and I will say customer dot qvd and here I have to write qvd. I will do exit script here and first we will load and store first table inside QVD. We can see here we have customer QVD created. So I will try to create all other QVDs. I will remove this exit script and then I will copy paste. And we'll change the table name, change the QVD name. Same in all five. Now I will reload this application and now we will see the folder. So you can see in the folder we have now 5 QVDs. All of the QVDs now getting created. So this is the easiest way where you have to manually write store function and you can create QVDs. Instead of writing here, if we write something like this, so all store functions together. it will still work. So what I will do here is I will delete these QVDs and now now I will reload this application and we'll see the folder now. So you can see we have all five QVDs created. So this is a static way to create QVDs where you know how many tables you have you have to manually mention the table names and QVD names one by one. There is one easy way using the for loop. You can store all tables into QVDs. Let's see that one. So I will remove this. I will also remove all the QVDs. And now, first of all, I will create a variable. Say let v number of tables equal to number of tables. Uh, I will trace my tables here, number of tables variable here and we'll see what is the value coming. It's a 5 because we know that we have 5 tables here. Now I will use my for loop for v table number equal to 1 to v number of tables next v table number and let me trace my v table number i will reload it 
and we can see that we have 1 to 5 coming here. So now using this, I will try to find out my table name and store them in a variable. So I will say v table name equal to table name and here I will write my table number and then I will trace my table name. I will put my table number here as well so that I will get my table number and table name both together using the trace statement. So you can see here we are getting 1, 2, 3, 4 but the fifth one is not coming. So the reason behind this is click index is working from 0 not from 1. So to overcome this issue we have to use 0 here and we can say minus 1 here and now we will try to load that one. So now you can see we are getting all 5 tables but the number is starting from 0. So if we have 5 tables it will come from 0 to 4. Now we have table name. So this table name we can dynamically use inside our store statement. So to store all the tables dynamically I will use the same store statement and the table name I will put inside a square bracket so that if my table name is having a space between two words then it will handle that one and I will mention here where I have to store that my location is data folder data folder and then my table name dot qvd you can see here we don't have any single QED. Once I will load, we will get all the QEDs back. So this is how you can store all your tables into a QED and without manually writing store function. Hope you like this video. Please do subscribe and comment. Thanks. Have a great day.